Watch. We do have some new information tonight in this crash that injured two troopers and their canines. We now know this was the aftermath of a high speed chase involving a suspect who had a lengthy traffic history. Troopers started chasing the driver on I-4 westbound and collided on I-75 just south of Fletcher Avenue. News Channel 8's Trevor Sohaki is at FHP headquarters in Tampa for us right now. And Trevor, how are the troopers and the canines doing tonight? Well, Jen, thankfully, everyone is doing just fine. None of the injuries were life-threatening. But as you saw in that video right there, both of those FHP trooper cars rolled over. As a former cop said, getting to a car chase is one of the most dangerous activities a police officer can do. Two Florida Highway Patrol troopers and two canines were injured during a car chase this afternoon. Officials said they were chasing Wilfredo Cordova Diaz, who was driving a white BMW upwards of 120 miles per hour. These pursuits are exceedingly dangerous. They're probably the most dangerous thing that a police officer can ever get involved in uh, because they almost inevitably end with someone being injured. Sometimes it's a suspect, sometimes it's a police officer. Randy Sutton is a former police officer. The departments try to weigh what the what the value is of the pursuit in comparison to do they really need to catch this guy? Is this guy a threat? Sutton said sometimes agencies won't chase people for smaller traffic offenses. Every jurisdiction, every police agency has to make up its own policy and they determine from their administrative um, context what that policy will be. According to the criminal report affidavit, after troopers tried to pull Diaz over on I-4 for window tint and tailgating, he sped off. Police said Diaz started driving on I-75 North, then tried to do a U-turn through the grass median. The affidavit and FHP said that as a result of that U-turn, a trooper couldn't slow down on the grass in time and crashed into another trooper. Both vehicles rolled over. Diaz was charged with fleeing and eluding, driving with a suspended license, and possession of $9,000 worth of cocaine. And thankfully, neither of the troopers were hurt too bad, but both did go to a hospital. Both of the canines as well went to a vet where they were treated, then released. And Hillsborough County court records revealed Diaz was arrested for a DUI in 2016, petty theft in 2013, and grand theft in 2012. Live in Tampa, Trevor Sahaki, get on your side.